Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Diet Coke. I was just talking about this Diet Coke as a doctor that interests me <laughs> <laughs> with the aspartame. Oh. So, well, let's start with that anyway. Diet Coke. You're a doctor. You should know these things. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I, I drink. Di if you do anything in moderation, it's good. And I like. I love. Uh, I mean, Diet Coke is um, throughout residency and med school. That's what know, kept you up. Kept me up. Kept me up. You Every, know, everything in moderate. The opposite of of uh, of Chow. Opposite of Chow. Yes, and I and I am the Coke Zero spokesman, so I do. Oh, okay, Zero okay so, so you have to drink. So I, I love Coke Zero. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you said as an as a, we'll just talk about the movie. As an actor, uh, yeah, this yeah. is the best thing I've ever done. You've said. I think it was on Leno last week. You might have said that. Yeah. Yeah. Why? It's it, Todd Phillips really guided me through such a layered performance to, for Todd Phillips to extend what really essentially is a four minute character in the first movie to a character was really kind of the backbone of the story for the third movie. I was for him to guide me through that and for me to have the biggest role of my, my career. And he knew exactly when to give me latitude and let me be myself and let me do my thing. But he also knew when to rein me in, kind of like keep me focused on the tone of the story. And it was the best experience I've ever had as an actor because I became a better actor out of it through working with Todd and, and, and the Wolfpack on it. So yeah, I learned so much. I, I really just learned a lot of things about myself that I didn't think I could even do as an actor. And, and to have this kind of support from, I mean, there are just times where I was doing some scenes and, and Bradley, Bradley Cooper, you know, one of the best actors alive right now, tell, telling, you know, taking me under his wing saying, dude, that was, that was a great take, you know, just kind of, that was a great take you just did. I mean, he goes, I don't tell everybody, you know, just to have that kind of support from your peers and your friends, it, it meant everything to me, yeah. You kind of alluded to, to doing that 30-foot drop off Caesars. Yeah. That was actually you. Well, a 30-foot drop at, uh, at, at another point in the movie. So the, oh. Yeah, so it's... Uh, oh, I know what yeah, you're Yeah, yeah, okay. and so that was all me. That wasn't a stuntman. That was Is that your me. first time doing that kind of work? Yeah, I'm, like? I'm massively afraid of heights. I don't do harness work. I've never done a 30-foot, I mean, falling down... 30 feet without any parachute, you know, without any track, you know, it's like free fall. It was insane. So you're going to become Ken Stuntman? I'll become then? Ken Stuntman. Yeah. It was, uh, actually that stunt coordinator, Jack Gill, you know, coached me through that. He desensitized me, basically. He, like once a week for like six weeks, I would be in a harness at 10 feet to get used to that 15, 20, 25, 30, so on, yeah. Did it cure your fear of heights? It did. Really? Uh, yeah, it really did. That's Jack amazing. really, it was like... Yeah, I got a cure out of this, so which is great. Yeah, <laughs> thing works. Yeah, there's an ATM story that I wouldn't mind you sharing. Yes, I was what at is this ATM story? I was at an ATM. I was uh, there was a, a middle-aged white man in a convertible that stared at me, and uh, for the longest time, and as he drove away, he said "Toodaloo, mother," you know, yeah. and then, and uh, and not the, the beauty of that. It didn't only happen once; it happened twice at that same ATM a few months ago. Another middle-aged white man, another another convertible, said the same thing: "Toodaloo, mother effer," mm -hmm. and then like drove away. And I'm like, "Is this what does this Wells Fargo ATM dispense magic, or is this <laughs> is this like Groundhog's Day meets a bank? I don't know what's going on. You know, it was insane." <laughs> I gotta let you go, so we do something called five questions. Five quick questions, yes, one more answers. Yep. Script or improv? Script. Lennon or McCartney? Um, McCartney. Bangkok or Vegas? Vegas. If you could be in a Freaky Friday moment and switch to a different Wolfpack member, which would it be? Uh, Alan. And in one word, The Hangover 3. Epic. 